Hi everyone, in this quick video, I will show you how we can add our Niagara systems into the sequencer. Let's get into it. I'll just create a sequencer first. You can go to cinematics, level sequence, and just name it sequencer underscore effects. That will be fine. I'm just keeping it 60 FPS. Save it. Now I'll just create an Niagara system. I'll this font being just created. Just save everything. So there are a few ways we can add this into the sequence. If you double click, you could open right now. There's nothing. If I just drag and drop this into the sequence, so this will make it spawn neighbor. What I can do is just Put it here. You can see how it is spawned by the sequencer. So if I close this sequencer, and so that will be gone from the level itself. And if I open again, it is like a spawnable by sequencer. You can see this. Second method is I'll just drag and drop this on the level right now there's nothing in the sequence but what i can do is from the level itself either we can add vector to sequencer and then select this one which is our ns underscore founding or just add the ns founding here you see right now it's not controlled by sequencer so what we can do is add an anchor component and a few ways we can manipulate this or control this, but we have effect system toggle track, which is first. So right now there's nothing. So what I can do is I can put some keys. This will be deactivated and on frame 12, it will get activated and that's it. So currently you can see it is deactivated and when I play on frame 12, it will get activated. Same thing if I move the activation key to the 75, you just play it, it will get activated on that. Another thing is in the same Niagara component, what we can do is add a Niagara system lifecycle track, which how we can use is now it's just spawn where my play head is. So we can just drag it here and it will activate here. But a uh, very interesting thing is to set it to desired age. So now, what it will do is it will play according to this curve rate of this curve. Though backward doesn't work because it is like non deterministic. So, yeah, that is how we can manipulate our effects.